What's going on, VFAM? Your boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having an incredible day so far. Uh, in this video, I actually wanted to show you guys a cutting edge strategy that I'm using to consistently find winning products. So So before I get into that, I wanted to show you guys uh, just a quick update for the month. You know, I like being super transparent with you guys. So you can see right there, I'm at about 45K for the month and it's the middle of the month. We'll probably end up ending the month with like double, I would say 70, 80K around there. And again, that's all on autopilot. I really haven't been focused on scaling too much. Just want to narrow down a few different cutting edge strategies and things that I'm implementing into my e-commerce business. What I wanted to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump into my computer and show you guys different tools that I'm using to find winning products. And hopefully you guys can use these same exact tools to find winning products for your store. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. All right. So before I get into showing you guys the tools that I use to consistently find winning products, I wanted to let you guys know that when it comes to e-commerce, you want to have a solid product research process in place. And the reason why you want to have a solid product research process in place is because product research is an important part to running an e-commerce business, right? At least if you actually want to make money and be successful with it, uh, it's really important that you focus on that. So I previously did a video on product research, maybe like two or three months ago, showing you guys exactly how I use AliExpress to find hot and trending products. If you guys have not yet seen that video, make sure you go and check it out. It's literally a full rundown of how I use AliExpress and use vendors and different things that I use to kind of narrow down you know, hot and trending products. Basically within my product research process, I try to use all potential tools that could help me eliminate the chance of me testing products that have no chance of even, you know, selling really well. I like to use all the resources I have at hand. So again, I like to use AliExpress and I'm also gonna show you guys tools that I'm using now, but I like to use these tools to help me find new products. And I also like to use other tools to reference, to make double check to see if these products or stores are actually selling these products, right? And they're actually selling really well. Because again, I don't wanna waste any time testing out products that have no chance of being good winning products. So uh, that's what I recommend for you guys. You wanna focus on, again, having a solid process in place. So the first tool that I use to consistently find winning products is this website right here. It's called myip, I already have it here, .ms, right? So I'm gonna search it up and I'm gonna go to the website. And basically this website helps you find pretty much any other website's IP address. So uh, what you can do is, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate this, go back to Google, and we're going to look up Shopify IP address. I already had it there, IP address. And right here, you're going to be able to actually get Shopify's IP address, it's public records. I'm just going to copy that, paste it right here, right? And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up Shopify's IP address and it's going to link back to their website. But the cool part about this website is, is that it shows all websites that are on the Shopify platform. Uh, because they have the same IP address, right? If you go right here on other sites on IP address, it's gonna load up literally all the Shopify stores that are on the IP address, uh, matching, of course, Shopify's original IP address. So if you have it right here, uh, based on the this, this stores that showed up, like ColourPop, Fashion Nova, Gymshark, Movement Watches, uh, KimKardashianBeauty.com, uh, it's pretty much showing all the stores in order from like top performing, you can see right here, world type popular rating, the most popular stores that they have, all the way down to the least possible popular stores. And so that's one section, we're kinda gonna get into that. But if you can see down here, you can also see what websites have changed their IP address, addresses or their domains. Originally it was hosted right here and then it came over and now the website that it's actually under is this name right here, Bunker Branding. It gives you a ton of data, honestly. Right here it shows you the non-working websites on that IP address. So these are all the websites on Shopify that are no longer active. Right here, this is huge because it's gonna save you a ton of time when it comes to referencing stores and products. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at, we're gonna hit view all records. And right here, when I view all records, it's literally, again, gonna have all the stores. So when you hit this, it's gonna show the products from least popular rating to the top popular rating. So if you just go right here, you can start looking at the somewhat of like the least popular stores. But if you filter it, if you go up here, you hit this button right here, you can filter it. And it's gonna start loading up from the most popular stores all the way back down like how we first had it. Again, if you're not selling anything yet and you don't know if you should do a general store or a niche store, if you're thinking about doing a general store, just selling general products, then you can kind of go through here and you know start looking at these stores and look for general stores that are selling kind of generic products, right? And you can start getting some ideas from those stores. Uh, if you already have a niche that you're thinking about getting into or 
uh, a niche where you know you want to sell these kind of products and you can kind of filter out and find stores specifically based on the niche so for example right if we want to sell dog products if we type in dog it's going to load up all the stores the word dog in their website name so if we go down here you can see bird dogs mad dog pack.com store dog.net now all these stores again not every single store is going to be drop shipping but all these stores you can use to reference and get ideas from to see what kind of products are selling really well because again these are top performing stores so if you go right here to start let's use this store as an example storedog.net so i'm going to go right here new tab storedog.net and it's going to load up and right here i just pulled up somebody's shopify store right and it looks like it's they're not exactly selling like dog products they're kind of just selling clothing but another thing that I wanted to show you guys, a little bit of a hack per se that you can actually utilize is if you go to this store right here, I just pulling up some notes here because I had, I wanted to make sure I covered this for you guys. But there's going to be some stores where they set up their best selling products in a best sellers collection, right? Because sometimes what they want to do is um, right here, uh, you can see that this store already has actually the best seller section. So if you click right here, they're already going to show you the best sellers. But sometimes what stores will do is they won't have like a category on their menu where it's going to say best sellers. Um, they're kind of just have their best selling products hidden on the back end and they'll kind of put them, you know, in their store, like either in a new section or new arrivals or things like that. So for example, if this store didn't publicly show their best seller section, you can actually get around it. If you go up here, and if we go to just the original domain of the store, and this is gonna work on pretty much any website, uh, it'll show it if they actually have a bestseller collection made around these products on the back end. Uh, if they don't have a bestseller collection made, then it won't show it, but it'll work for a lot of stores. So if I, if I go to forward slash collections, forward slash all question mark sort underscore by equals best selling, it'll take you right to their best sellers collection, right? So obviously this store's best sellers collection is right here. So it's gonna load up this. But if they didn't have a best sellers collection public that you can easily find, it would show this right, it would show them to you right here if you just type this in. So for an example, I'll, I'll save this right here. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna save all this. I'm gonna copy it. And we can go and find another store, right? So if you go down out here and we'll pick another store. So we'll do, Let's do dogshopster.com, right? Dogshopster.com. Okay, so if we're out here on this store, it doesn't look like right off the top, again, um, they have like a bestseller section, right? So this is a good store to kind of go through and do it. So let's do this. We're going to copy it in. Let's see what happens. It takes me to their bestselling section. And you can kind of start getting some ideas of what products are in their best sellers. So now I would recommend going through these to get some ideas because it looks like this store loaded up 1,178 products. So they probably don't have 1,178 products that are best selling. If they did, then they're absolutely crushing it. Again, this is something that I would do consistently. So I would try it on different stores until I can find kind of like the jackpot winners of that store. So let's say if this one didn't work, that's fine. All I do is I'll go back and I'll look for another store, right? So let's try browndoggadgets.com, right? Let's try this one. Browndoggadgets.com. Featured products. Oh, now let's see if what happens. So this right here for the best selling section, it's a limited amount of products. So it looks like this could very well be, you know, their best seller. I don't understand this store though, because it says brown dog gadgets. They're selling gadgets, but they're also, they have like a dog here. So I don't really get it. But again, this is the process that I would do to kind of start looking to get ideas. And again, like you don't have to only use specific, you know, like dog names. You can literally go back. So if we go back here, I'm going to show you guys. If you go back and you have it filtered how we first had it, where it's showing you guys the top stores in order like this, you can literally use this. Okay, let's let's make sure we put it on in order. So we can literally use this to show us all the top stores and we can literally use the top stores as examples. We don't have to filter them out. So if I go to like the third page, uh, we can start finding some more drop shipping stores. 
Uh, a lot of the top ones, of course, are usually like huge brands. But if we go, the, the further back we go, we can kind of start finding like uh, drop shipping stores. So let's see what do we have here. Again, I would, re I would recommend spending a good amount of time doing this because you're getting access to every single Shopify store. Uh, but for now, I, I will just choose one to kind of show you guys an example here. Uh, this one's Spearing Fish. So let's try this one. Oh, so it looks like uh, my membership, you get free access up to, free user accounts are allowed to 50 website pages and then from one IP address per day. So a day I have a limit, otherwise I'll have to upgrade. So. I'll just go back and use some of the ones that already popped up. So for example, let's use, just use this one as an example, MT watches, right? So we'll do that and then we'll do the same thing. And I'll go to collections, all best selling. So they already have a best sellers collection right here. And if we go to the best sellers, you can use this to start getting ideas, right? Of what their best selling products are. And so again, like this is just one store. If you spend a good amount of time on this, you're gonna see a lot of stores and find a lot of things that are selling really well. This is a great tool that I use that I incorporated into my product research process. After I narrow down uh, the kind of stores that are doing really well, I kind of go through to see what kind of products are selling and then I look for similar products on AliExpress. So that's, you know, kind of giving you guys a up-to-date picture on what my product research process looks like. But there's another tool I wanted to share with you guys. And this next website, uh, it's actually called thieve.co and this website right here basically what it does is that it automatically uh, finds all the best sellers on AliExpress and they're basically products that are rated that people favorite and people get to vote on so if you look right here if you look at about Thieve and why they make the website the Thieve is a curated list of products you can buy directly from AliExpress uh, of course uh, but if you look right here, these products are hand selected by a group of awesome creatives around the world, bloggers, photographers, designers, and heaps more. Thieve lets you skip search and get straight to the buying the good stuff. So it's going to cut to the chase and show you guys the, like the latest products, top picks by Thieve, uh, trending products, most popular products. And you're going to get to kind of cut to the chase and see what products are rated you know, to be the best or the most used, right? So if you see right here, these are people that are liking the products. So what people do is they'll come on this website and they'll hit like on specific products that are they like and favorite and they've used from AliExpress. So you can see right here, just by the reviews, you can start get some ideas. And obviously you may not only go by the reviews, but you can see like, I've seen a couple of stores that are you know selling things like this. Uh, this is a super, a really sold high performing watch. Uh, that has done really well and again you can use this to get ideas for what other products you could potentially test and it's really just cut into the chase because after going through they have tons of different products in almost any niche right so women's you know if you think about some women's products um, homeware electronics you can literally go through here and start getting ideas for products to kind of look for and honestly it's a lifesaver because there's no products that kind of like you know are rated by other people that are favorited by other people or things like that and it's a huge tool and again as more people start to f find out more about this website then obviously uh, it's somewhat it'll get a little more on the competitive edge but that's why I wanted to share with you guys I wanted to share with you guys this website now so you can start taking advantage of it if you wanted to let's say confirm so this is again you can check this out and you can click on it and you know find these exact same products and it'll take you directly to aliexpress so that's how you use thief but for these websites if you wanted to confirm like let's say the amount of traffic that this these stores are getting like if you didn't think that of course like it was a high performing shopify store what you can do is you can also use this other tool which i'm literally dropping gold on you guys it's called similar it's called similar web if you go to similarweb.com you can literally search up any website and it's going to give you a free report showing you guys the amount of traffic they're getting and a whole lot more so one thing you can do is let's say if we wanted to sell watches so we know that movement is a huge watch brand and they're absolutely crushing it right so if we wanted to sell watches one thing we could do is we'll go to similarweb.com type in movement watches watches.com and we're going to get a full analysis letting us know tons of different things right so if you go down here it's going to show you guys things like you know how many visitors are getting in the month of march they got 2.5 million visitors in their store and that's absolutely insane so obviously there's no way to tell if this is like 100 percent accurate but i can tell you guys based on like their revenue and things like that how much they did last year this is probably like very close to what it, their numbers actually is so if you go on this website you can do a lot of things like 
you know, you can see again their search, where their traffic is coming from, direct, social, things like that. Uh, you can see the top referring sites. You can also see what I like to do is come down here and look at their competitors to see if I can find competitor websites, right? So you can see right here, it looks like the, the time bum is another competitor selling watches. And what you can then do, it looks like this website right here, let's see what they're selling. So it looks like they're also selling like gadgets and things like that. I don't think they're, they're probably like an, uh, an affiliate marketing website, so we won't really check them. But you can see here, there's another one of their competitors right about here. You can see that one of their biggest competitors, not biggest, but I would say another one of their competitors is right here, the Time Bum. And so what then you can then start doing is start seeing like what things they're doing, right? In their e-commerce store, see how much traffic they're getting, see what kind of products they're selling, and a whole lot more. So this is literally some of the, these are literally the tools that I use uh, in my product research process to consistently find winning products, right? So again, what I recommend for you guys to do, if you don't already have um, a product research process in place, okay, let me pull this up here. So if you guys don't already have a product research process in place, make sure you spend the time, you know, seeing what kind of strategies work for you to find products, right? So of course, you want to utilize AliExpress. Of course, you want to utilize a website like myip.ms to find the top Shopify stores. Of course, then you want to double check those stores and see what, you know, whatever stores you find on there, try similar web to see, um, you know, what their competitors are doing and get some ideas from them as well. That right there, if you use all three of those resources to find products, you have a much better chance than almost everybody out there that's trying to find hot and trending products guaranteed i hope you guys picked up a thing or two if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like if you have any questions about anything that i went over when it comes to product research any of the tools that i showed you guys drop your questions down in the comments below i'll get back to you guys and of course if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button join the v fam and i'll see you guys in the next video peace